What's up guys? Welcome back. Episode 47 of One Piece. And I mean, as we're looking at it, they're just putting Alvita's glow up right in our face again. I didn't think, like, I just didn't think they were going to be this pushy with her glow up. I'm not complaining. I'm just stunned. Okay. So, we're just going to continue of everything I left off at at the end of episode 46. Buggy and Alvita are together now, like, on her ship. They're not dating together. They're just in the same proximity together. And that's about it. I think everything's similar to left off, like where it left off at the end of the live action. So we're going to start exploring new territory and see what goes down. Alvita's glow up. One piece. Where are we going, Buggy? Well, we're none of your business. The voice changed too. Ooh, okay. I hear the original Alvita in there again. It's the same voice actress. All right, since you put it so nicely. I love little Buggy. He cracks me up. My dear crew, I wonder where they've ended up without their captain. So we got more Buggy focus. I like how it's like a flashback recap of previous events. <laughs> I'm here. Oh, they got his other parts. Buggy! Dude. I don't know if that's on purpose or not, but this cloud looks just like a clown, like buggy style. Because look, you got the hair right there coming down. It's like a side profile. You got the, the forehead and the eye. You got the big ass nose. And then like the mouth right there. But then you got the ear. That looks just like a clown face. I feel that had to have been in there, or that's just by chance. I just don't think it's by chance. Like, that is definitely a clown face right there. Big ass nose, eye, mouth, forehead, hair, ear. I don't know, man. I think that was meant to be in there. Since we lost our captain, who knows where he I like how the now. lion's not that huge in this shot compared to how big it was we have to in the previous episodes. This is all her fault, that stupid little thief. That bitch. Just you wait, Zorro. I've never been sick, not a day in my life. <laughs> Get sick. I remember ever being sick either. <laughs> oh shit. Somebody must be talking. They're all they are getting talked about. That is funny. It sucks being this beautiful. They all talk about me. <laughs> Holy god. Damn. That neon explosion was cool looking. Very short lived, but Do they have like a shrine for Buggy? <laughs> Before he died, I hated him. Rest in peace, Captain. Rest in pieces. I will take the helm and lead the buggy pirates. They're gonna fight over the the leadership. It is I, Beast Tame Emoji, the captain's right hand man, who should take his proper place as our leader. But you're looking at the new captain of the buggy pirates. Oh shit. Just fine by me. Bro, this guy's straight up throwing the middle finger. <laughs> He's just straight up like, fuck your side. We're gonna win. Wrestling? WWE match? We had a wrestling match the last match. Dude, that is so funny that this actually happened. Because I was joking about uh, Jack in the Box and Buggy having like a midget wrestling match, and now we actually have a wrestling ring set up in the next episode. A fighting ring, it's not technically a wrestling ring. It's a fucking fancy move with a long ass name. That's a cool shot. Just like the vertical minimal screen. Did they get each other? They got each other. The equals. I guess we'll settle this the old fashioned way. Hand to hand combat. We're gonna fist each other. In any other way. Oh, that's cool. I like that bottom angle of them hitting each other. 
That's so cool. Still fighting? Oh my god. <laughs> they're just getting comfortable on the sidelines while they're fighting. At least they're dedicated for it, you know? Really showing their ambition for it. Yeah, they're done fighting. Or not. Oh my god, they're all swallowing up. You can't take it anymore. I can understand what you just said. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be you. These are like all the Baki characters. Just <laughs> all roided up and just fucking swollen fighting each other. Just sounding like, I'm gonna be the best. Oh, yeah, man. No, you're not. <laughs> They're gonna knock each other out. Fall asleep. We're having a dream? <laughs> what the fuck? He's his own pirate now. What the fuck? This is like a fever dream. <laughs> yep, yeah, it's a fever dream. Richie's the goat. He's gonna find the One Piece. Oh, okay, Richie's putting them to rest. Or is he taking over? Is Richie gonna be the actual leader of this group? Making his dreams come real. Or is this still a dream? I don't know. It might, it might be real. Huh. It's seeming pretty real. Good for Richie. Oh. We got like a tribe. You are trespassing. This island belongs to the Bear Claw tribe, and you will be Bear Claw no tribe. Oh, the POV is cool. Did he knock Richie out? That easily? Oh shit! Poor Richie. A leader for a day, not even a full day, just like a little bit of a day. We surrender. They're lost without Buggy. They really need him. The grand flashy flagship of the Buggy Pirates! Buggy's gonna save everyone. So you such a big grade. <laughs> Are you talking about my nose? Did you say big? I'm tall, so I'm short. Is that it? Or you want to call me stupid? Too? Oh man, it's such a self-esteem issue. Is it grave? But who would do this? Who would use such a? It is a good picture, picture of Buggy. And what did they bury? Oh man, Alvita. Hey, there's somebody passed out on the ground. <sighs> Goodness. No. <laughs> oh man. They got a lot of Botox done. I miss you guys so much. <laughs> so, uh, it's such a funny it shot. It's like, like when two parents take their kid to like a fair or amusement park or whatever, and then the kid's like fucking missing. They're like, "Oh my god, where's our child?" And then like when they get, they found their kid. Th this is what it looks like. They're like, "We missed you. We're so glad you're back." It's like Buggy's like a little missing child that got back to its parents. Such a funny angle. Just how he's sitting on their lap and everything. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Who kicked your asses? I'd like to say hello. Uh I like Buggy a lot. We better hurry up if you want to save your goodness. They're gonna eat Buggy's crew. <laughs> Took a crap in the pot, you can't eat us now. I mean I'd try that shit. Appetizers? I'm not so sure those chunks would be very good to eat. Buggy's gonna get his full body back and just fuck everyone up. Give him to the dog. Chop chop. Yeah. Is he gonna right now? Oh man. Chop 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 chop. 
Yeah. Peak Buggy returns. Oh, that's cool. He's just nubbing them to death. <laughs> chop, 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 <laughs> this little body with his nubs, bro. He's like so funny and adorable. But like badass at the same time. It's like a... Like a robot mech assembling, but buggy form. Oh, yeah. How the fuck they get the cannon all the way up there? Buggy bomb? Where is he hiding all this shit? I don't think that, bro. I can't get over it. I'm just, uh... I'm sorry. I just can't get over it. It's like a great comeback moment for them. <laughs> Ass beating is your reward. Buggy does have like such a cool ability though, because like he can split up into like five or so different parts, and like all those different parts fight individual people at the same time. So like he can literally be like a one man crew fighting like many people. Like, like, exhibit A. <laughs> Easy peasy. My adorable little children. I've missed you <laughs> My little children. Much. Where have you been, Captain, sir? Please tell us what happened to you at sea. How dare you shoot at me? Just being hunted down the whole time. That is the reason for all of this. I promise that I will make him pay! I, ah, that's so cool though, you know, like, a lot of the similarities and changes between characters and everything, because, like, Buggy had such, so far, that, like, we, when we initially met him, he had such a vendetta against Shanks. Sorry if I sound a little nasally, too, like, I've been, I was really stuffy when I woke up, but I gotta watch One Piece, so sorry if I sound annoying. Um... But he had such a vendetta against Shanks and everything, and he's like, I swear I will get my, like, revenge on him no matter what. And now it's transferred to Luffy. Like, like, Luffy didn't do much to him. He wasn't the bad guy or anything. But he has such a negative perception of Luffy to now, he's like, he has that vendetta towards Luffy now instead of Shanks. But Luffy in general has a lot of symbolism and same characteristics and everything of Shanks. So it's like, not only is, like, just Luffy embodying, like, some concepts of Shanks and all that. Like, other characters are also embodying, like, the relationship dynamics with Luffy as well. So it's just really cool how it's all tied together and written. And you could tell there's, like, been tons of detail put into this, which is awesome. Like, the writing is phenomenal so far. Who's the pretty lady? Stay back, guys. Hands off. Someone to mention her. This is the woman who saved my life, and her name is. It's my girl. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know. Who is this? Sorry, what was your name again? <laughs> Damn, Alvina has a small ship. I think she had a bigger version before. This is her own smaller one. It's small, but it gets the job done. Logtown. As I previously called it, Logtown. Like an idiot. Using three sword style with just one sword kind of blows. I think it's time oh, to boys gonna get some more swords? Wait to check out their equipment shops for some cool stuff. So okay, that's cool. They're gonna have like item upgrades. This is gonna be cool. This place is known as the city of the beginning and the end. It's a cool concept too, I like that. Born there, killed there. City of the beginning and the end. Roll credits. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna do it. To be continued. That's... 
No, a lot much to talk about. I, like, I do like, though, is, like, not every, like, you know, there's not good characters and bad characters. It's all perception and situations and shit that unfold that, like, really show, like, people's true behavior and characteristics. And so far, like, even though, like, Buggy could still be a bad guy. But, like, I like Buggy a lot still because, like, he he's he's not like he like with him and jack in the box he was so nice and genuine and not like evil with him or anything he just gets very excited about treasure and flashy things but he was very genuine and everything and i like, wanted to know more about jack in the box asked him questions sat down drank with him and was like cordial and everything uh not hostile or like seeking like being like looking into like how he could take advantage of jack in the box to like get something for himself but then also like this episode, he was like an honorable leader, like came back, got his men. And he's like, who did this to you? Because I want to beat their ass. And then he did that and saved his whole crew. So it's it. And it's really cool. Just like the side stories and like side quests and all that of like other characters besides the main characters, because it really puts more attention on them, obviously, but like more um, context and relationships for like all the other crews and everything, because then like when they're all like when shit unfolds in the future there's definitely going to be more like confliction and more tension because we know all of these different characters so well instead of just following the perception and story of the main characters and how like they mess with all other people it's like we have like a more holistic pov of like all these characters rather than just just this one group of people who face all these different obstacles against the world it's like learning more about the world itself and like how they're all involved with each other and how the impacts how they're all impacted and everything based off the situation so it's really cool i, I like i like that approach because it's just like all about perception style rather than just strictly good strictly bad black and white i love the gray area concept of storytelling so yeah that's that's it for this uh i still feel a little stuffy so i'm gonna try and clear out a bit for next episode so sorry if it was a little annoying but yeah alvita though they gotta do something put some clothes on it man i'll be distracted going forward but yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in episode 48 bye